everybody welcome back to the channel it is winter banner time at fire emblem heroes and i'm excited i haven't even seen the thumbnail yet so i don't even know what's going on but i hope to god it's not winter pella that would just be so bad for me and my financials it's just so bad zappy winter festival oh wait wait so yunaka oh it's Yunaka! Zappy Winter Festival! <laughs> it's not Pepla! Oh, hell yeah. I like this even better, actually. <laughs> I like it even better! Silent Yule Knife. Ooh, that's terrifying. Laird Sparrow. Assassin Strike! Oh, it's the physical version of Gold Eggs. Be the Occultist Strike. Oh, God. Oh no. We'll go back and look at the skills and stuff after the fact. Uh I wanna I wanna I wanna desperately see what the rest of this banner looks like. Oh god, please don't have Chloe on here. Okay. Alright. That's Winter Edelgard. About battle, if only for one okay. Minute. Some Tefish art. We always love that. Wait, was that three houses or hopes? I didn't see. Shoot. I think it's three houses. Armored Blaze? What is that? New Prime skill. Okay. Raging Tempest, of course. Blaze. I wonder if that's a new armor skill that's inheritable. Season's oh my. Greatness. Okay. Alright, what else? What Who's else? Next? I'm not I'm not <laughs> I'm not afraid yet. I'm not scared yet. What else you got for me? Huh? What else you got for me? Come on, Iz. What, what, what are you packing? Huh? Okay. Okay. Dimitri, sure. I better be careful not to break in. Wait, so was that Claude in the in the in the What's in the next? art? Was that Claude? Everybody was telling me Balthus in the comments. Yunaka Balthus. And clearly Yunaka's here. Oh, is he a four-star? No, he's not a four-star. No shot. Wait, we don't have a four star? Wait. Wait, is there no four star? Well, that's one way to solve a double special issue <laughs> of not being able to share with uh, duos and what have you. Wait. Is this what you wanted? Wait. Okay. So. That's actually huge. That's huge. Show them how the plushies, done. bro! <laughs> yeah, that's a sick sword, actually. Okay! We got a little Byleth on Byleth action. That came out wrong. I didn't... That's not what I meant. To, I didn't... That's not what I meant. That... I heard it as soon as I said it. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Let's just pretend like that didn't happen. Have okay? Let's pretend that didn't happen. It's Christmas. Everybody be... Oh, Freya! I see her. Wait. Wait, so who's the free unit? Is it? Almost done. Let's be Are you going to tell me they did both Bylas, uh, Edelgard, mm. and Dimitri, and they didn't have Claude in here? Like, for real, for real? I don't believe that for a Got second. You something. Supreme Head? Oh my. That seems sick. Okay, so uh, so it's gotta be Claude, right? Yeah, that's Claude. Okay, all you Balthus believers in chat, time to subscribe to my channel, okay? Uh-huh, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Uh huh. That's right. You know the deal. You know the deal. I said it was Claude. It's Claude. Time to subscribe to the channel. Those are the bylaws of which we are all bound. All right. I don't make the rules. Susan YouTube made the rules several years ago. I am just. I am just. I'm. Neil is in charge now. The bylaws haven't changed. All right. I'll make the rules. So Claude is free. There is no four-star hero. Wow. 
Okay. All right. Well, that is different. That's a little bit different. I don't know if I love it. We've had... We've had a fair amount of banners with a lot of overly... Like, the new heroes banner? The only new hero that was actually a new hero and not a limited hero? Mycin. That banner. You know what I'm talking about? Not having a four star is a little whack. In my opinion. But I guess we gotta... Okay. Okay. This is this is whale bait to the extreme, bro. You're telling okay, so it's always been three. It's always been three sparks with a four star on it. Okay. Now obviously you're not gonna intentionally spark the four star unless you're wackadoo, all right? Or just a really dedicated fan of a specific character. I did they intentionally do this to get you to spend another $80? Yes, I do know how much it is to spark per USD on this banner. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. That's crazy, dude. Why would you spark her last? She is delightful and adorable. I am upset. I'm outraged, actually. Okay, so that, that's that. Um, Let's hop over here real quick. We could do like we do. So that is, Claude is free. So Claude is free. Dude, Claude fans, stop. Stop winning literally all the damn time, dude. It's not cool. Us Rhea fans out here, we're just, we're living in limited hell, okay? Or colorless hell. One of those two. Claude fans, stop with it already. Crying out loud. But in the spirit of Christmas, I'm very happy for you. Okay, let's, uh, <laughs> let's hop back and take a look here. So Yunaka's here, and the little cutouts on her jumpsuit? Is that what it's called? Jumpsuit? bodysuit one piece i don't know what it is i just don't but there's stars now which is a nice little fun detail very festive uh so you knock us here from engage she is not a rearmed dagger sag uh i don't know what it is with the engage seasonal drip marketing that they're doing with the characters <laughs> but but it's confusing, uh, and I don't, I don't, d d d okay, in the comments, did people not like Engage? Because I really liked Engage. But then I also, never mind, I'm not gonna, you know what, maybe I just have different taste. Maybe, maybe I am just not in the norm. Maybe that's what it is, I don't know. I don't know. I found Engage to be delightful. Uh, maybe that's why we're not getting a bunch. But hey, Winter Yunaka's here. She's here. She's got a very dangerous tree. Uh, what what are we what are we doing though? Also, Laura Post the goat, literally the goat. All right, let's see. We have the scroll happening here, obviously. Uh, Silent Yule knife. Kanto distance max of three. Wow. Okay. That's huge. That's pretty huge. Accelerate special trigger at start of combat. If unit's HP is greater than equal twenty five percent, grants omni buff a five to unit, and grants bonus to units attack speed my uh, equal to nine minus the number of allies adjacent to unit times two. So you want to be so low, basically is what I'm understanding from this. Neutralizes effects that prevent units follow-up attacks and neutralizes effects that inflict special cooldown charge minus X on unit during combat. And also, if unit initiates combat, reduces damage from... Uh, the Reduces the percentage of foes non-special, reduces damage by X percent skills by percentage equal to X times 30 and reduces damage from foes first attack 
by percentage equal to x times 30 during combat where x equals the number of spaces from start position to end position of whoever initiated combat max of three if any space within two spaces of unit has a divine vein effect applied or counts as a difficult terrain excluding impassable terrain value is treated as three interesting so you're always going to get max value that's well i mean most times you're going to get max value not all the time there will be a two sometimes uh or if there's no terrain obviously uh interesting first attack gnarly means yada yada uh it's not dual strikes it's for one dual strike yeah after combat if you need to attack inflicts defense with minus seven on foes target them in two spaces in the next section wow okay uh we also have flared sparrow which is like the ranged cav not even ranged just it's like the cav specialty these days uh fatal smoke okay assassin strike so i think I didn't actually read it, but I think this is probably going to be the physical version of Occultist Strike, which is what we ended up getting on Golvig uh, when she debuted last month. So, if he initiates combat, deals 7 damage to foe as combat begins. Effective that uh, Effects that reduce damage during combat do not apply. Will not reduce foe's HP below 1. Inflicts speed defense, minus 4, on foe during combat and deals damage equal to 20% of foe's defense. How about that? How about that? All right, so a little bit different, but still basically a physical-ish version. Uh, and you've got the, the green and the yellow here, which always indicate speed and defense. So that's interesting. Uh, very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Not what I was expecting from a debut of Yunaka, but... Uh, you know, you know what's weird? We're already getting counters to Divine Veins, and we have, like, a Reese. Dropped your gift. <laughs> oh, dude, I love the Assassin voice. It's so good. Dude, Yunaka's great. She's probably... She's probably in my top five Would characters of Engage. For sure. Okay, so it is three houses. Night. Fair enough. Dude, I love some Tetris Shark. I don't know what it is. I, could, I can't articulate it. All right. Black Yule Lance. Accelerate special trigger. Uh, at start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than 25%, and unit initiates combat, applies Divine Vein Flame on, well, very fitting for a naval guard, on five spaces in a line centered on foe's space and on five spaces behind those spaces. Uh, okay. For one turn after combat, at start of combat, the Phoenix HP is going to be 25%, and clicks attack defense minus X on foe, where X equals 15 minus number of adjacent allies times two, minimum six. Yowza. Grand special cooldown count minus Y. Uh oh, algebraic equation incoming. To unit before unit's first attack, where Y equals the number of spaces from start position to end position of whoever initiated combat, max of three. If foe is in a space where divine vein blame as applied then the value is treated as three Ooh, okay and reduces the percentage of foes non-special reduced damage by x percent skills by a percentage equal to 100 minus number of allies adjacent to unit times 30 during combat and also if unit has a weapon triangle advantage or if foe is in a space where allied divine flame uh, is applied, neutralizes foes non-special if foe would reduce HP to zero, and that's about text during combat. All right, so we're wiping out Miracle. Tight. That's pretty dope. Uh, we are getting damage reduction? Reduces the percentage of foes non-special. Yeah, so we're getting piercing, not damage reduction. We're getting piercing. Uh... I mean, this is kind of big. I mean, Edelgard's Guard's always been good, right? But like here, you're getting Divine Vein Flame, right? Uh, and it seems like it's double stacked. I'll verify in the animation here in a second. Um, you're also debuffing attack and defense on enemy. Um, 
you are going to uh, get additional cooldowns based on the number of uh, spaces you travel. Um, and you're always getting the max uh, if the Divine Flame, uh, depending on where you are, right? You're reducing your opponent's ability to reduce their damage that they take. Uh, and you're also making sure that they can't uh, basically use Miracle, which is kind of huge. So, uh, she's breaking all the rules. <laughs> Everything you thought you could do, she's breaking all the rules. Uh, God bless, dude. It must be, it must pay to be a Three Houses fan who doesn't care about Rhea. <laughs> Give Rhea something good and not just scowl, okay? Because that makes her scowl fodder. That's not cool, Liz. All right? Rhea did nothing wrong. There. I'm brave. I said it. Uh, <laughs> that's going to make somebody mad. <laughs> Armor and blaze. Uh, boost special damage by 40% of the unit's defense when special triggers. Foes range seek of the one. And unit or foe special is ready or triggered before or during this combat. Reduces damage from foe's next attacks by 40%. Wow. Okay. I'm assuming that's going to be inheritable. Uh, that that seems like the next iteration of, like, uh, was it Armored Beacon, Flow, now we have Blaze. I assume that's going to be inheritable uh, based on the armored aspect of it. Uh, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, attack defense prime four, which is basically just, you know, prime. But now in attack defense flavor. And there it is. All right. So we also have defense rest play three, which is huge. Um, I think still limited in availability because I think the only other option for that is still. Is it still Rearm Plumeria? There could be another that I'm forgetting off the top, but uh, I know that Rearm Plumeria has it. Uh, Raging Tempest. At the start of turn, if unit HP is equal to 100, or if any foe is within three columns or three rows centered on unit, Grant's unit can move one extra space. That turn only doesn't stack. And charge to unit for one turn. So does that mean you can move four spaces? I'll have to go back and look at the animation that's a lot of spaces uh if number of allies adjacent is less than or equal to one inflicts attack defense minus five on foe during combat deals damage equal to 15 percent of the unit's attack excluding aoe specials and if unit initiates combat grants another action after unit uh combat once per turn uh if there's another this effect occurs based on final placement after moving yeah okay so all of that said how far do you move Able come along just three. Okay. Okay. Very good. All right. That had me a little bit worried. <laughs> the way it was worded, it almost made it sound like she had four spots, but it's not. Um, so she's basically a little bit similar to her summer harmonized version. I mean, Edelgards are all in general pretty similar, except for maybe just Academy Edelgard. Um... But dude, God, Winter Banner is one of those that's Season usually green. pretty defining in terms of, uh, yeah, Who's... that is that is a vain double stack. <laughs> Next. Oh my God, <laughs> she about to fill up the whole map, bro. Dude, that's crazy. That's crazy. Then we have Dimitri. Who undoubtedly I will get a ton of. Be careful not to break any of the gifts. That's how it works. That's how it works. That's how it works over here in KCBHQ. Uh it looks like he has prime. So that's tight. Alright, what do I got? He does have prime. He has attack speed prime. Uh no quarter! Uh, which seems like a unique special, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Uh blue Yule Axe. Fair enough. Uh enables Canto 2. Solid. Accelerate special trigger. Start of turn, if you can say speed is greater than 25%, grants attack speed plus 6, and null follow-up 
15 of them for one turn. That's pretty huge. At start of combat, the unit's HP is greater than 25%. Grants attack speed, defense rest plus X. Together, where X equals 5 plus 15% of the unit's speed at the start of combat. So he's a speedy boy, which we probably saw in the opening there. I just didn't look at the stats. Uh, and grants special cooldown count minus Y to unit before unit's first attack during combat. Y equals number of spaces from start position to end position of whoever initiated combat, max of three. If number of bonus effects active on unit, excluding stat bonuses, is greater than or equal to four, then the value is treated as three and restores seven HP after combat. So, like, what, <laughs> what doesn't it do, bro? Uh, so, obviously, speed is huge here, right? Uh, that is going to give you a bigger buff. Uh, you're, you're, you're guaranteed five, basically. That's your, that's your base count. Um, and then you're going to get an additional buff on top of that of 15% of your speed. So let's just say your speed is, uh, 10, 20. That's maybe an easier number to make sense. <laughs> let's say it's 20. Okay. That's going to be three points. So, uh, your buff would be eight because five plus three is eight, right? Uh, that said, if your speed is 40, it's going to be six, right? So, uh, I think, right? Yeah, somewhere around there. Uh, so that would be 11. So you can see how kind of just juicing his speed really does give him a lot of buff potential, uh, for literally all of his stats. Um, so that's pretty huge. And then obviously the Kanto, all the standard stuff, uh, we got, uh, we're restoring HP. There's just, he's doing a lot, man, but I'm not surprised. The Winter Banner, it seems pretty nuts. Uh, no Quarter is the special boost damage by X percent units attack when special triggers. If foe is armored, X equals 40, otherwise X equals 30. Ooh. We hate armors. Surely that's not telling of the Three Houses story. Uh, if special triggers neutralizes foes, reduce damage by X uh, percent effects from non-special skills. So he has piercing, and he will take out any of your armors. That is his job. That's what he liked to do. And we love that for him. He is our anti-armor king. Uh, barbarity. Oh, but it's Christmas. <laughs> really? Not even on Christmas? All right, uh, Panic Smoke 4 is his C skill. At least we're, like, fully kitted. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not all about these five stars that just have, like, a special and A skill and a weapon. You know what I mean? Like, come on. Come on. Make it worth it. Make the pull worth, bro. Uh, Barbarity is the special. His unique special. At start of combat, if foe's HP is granted 25%, inflicts attack speed, defense... Uh, minus four on foe during combat deals damage equal to 25% of its attack, uh, which, you know, uh, <laughs> pairs up nicely with no quarter, uh, which also is based on its you know, attack when special triggers uh, and reduces damage from foes first attack by 40% during combat. Uh, and also after combat grants vantage and dodge to each unit <laughs> and inflicts Omni debuff of minus six on target and foes within three spaces of target during the next actions. Wow. And then we have panic smoke on top of that, which is going to have a, a penalty doubler. <laughs> ah, okay. All right. Vantage and dodge, huh? Wow. All right. Well, hey, uh, I think if you gave him distant attack speed solo or whatever that's called, the, the attack speed solo distant counter skill, uh, he would basically just run the map. Like legitimately just <laughs> run the map. That's crazy, dog. My man is fitted and kitted. God damn. That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, we hate armors. That is true. That is true. What word is there? Hold on. What do we see for stats here? Sheesh! Okay. 
All right, so Micaiah stocks go up, obviously. But uh I mean distant counter with a with a with advantage on him, like that seems very dangerous. Very dangerous. Is this what you wanted? Yeah, that's not fair. <laughs> Straight up, dude, that's just not fair. That's crazy, bro. Oh my god. Alright, so we're like we're armored out. We're 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 on ponies. We're we're armored the heck out. Uh holy Yule Blade. Accelerate special trigger. Unit can counterattack regardless of foe's range. Uh start of combat if units HP is greater than 25%, grants omnibuff. Oh no, sorry. Attack defense res plus five to unit. Grants bonus to units attack defense res equal 20% of the units res. At start of combat and neutralize effects that inflict special cooldown charge minus X on unit during combat. At start of combat, if units HP is greater than 25%, foes attack can trigger foes special and units res is greater than foes res plus five. Hello, Phantom Res Seal. Inflict special cooldown uh, count plus X on foe before foes first attack, where X is equal to the number of spaces from start to, uh, to end position of whoever initiated combat, max of three. If unit triggers savior, value is treated as three, cannot exceed foe's maximum special cooldown. At start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than 25% and foe's range is equal to two, neutralize effects to prevent units, uh, units counterattacks during combat. Nice. Uh, Supreme Heaven is our special, right? Boost damage by X percent of its attack and special triggers. Uh, if in combat against a dragon, foe or beast foe x is equal to 50 otherwise it's 25 okay so a little bit of ruptured sky uh referencing there if special triggers neutralizes foes reduce damage by x percent effects from non-special skills if foes range is equal to two and unit or foes special is ready or triggered before or during this combat reduces damage from foes for attack by 30 percent once per combat excluding aoe specials okay so that's pretty good that's pretty good uh, you're getting a boost from your own attack, uh, and you're, uh, you know, you're getting that. So that's okay. All right. I don't think that will be inheritable, but it might be that the fact that it has similar, uh, wording to ruptured sky kind of makes me think that it might be. But none of the heaven skills on the buy list have ever been inheritable. Uh, which makes me think that it won't be. So we have Fire Flood Boost, which is the HP res buff, uh, HP attack res buff thing that we had, right? Uh, not many units really want it um, outside of a couple. Mostly Grail Red Dome Flyers, if you know, you know. Uh, we have attack res far save three. No far save four yet. Yet. <laughs> There's still two weeks left in the year. Okay, after this banner comes out. So, yeah, just be patient. Uh, weaving fighter is our newest uh, fire skill for B. So that's fun. At start of combat, if you can speed is greater than 25%, inflicts attack defense minus four on foe. Unit can, unit and foe. Cannot make a follow-up attack. Reduces damage from foe's first attack by X percent. If foe can make a follow-up attack, X is equal to 80. Damn. Otherwise, X is equal to 40. And reduces damage from foe's follow-up attack by 40 percent. Uh, wow. Okay. Um, that's a lot. Uh, for effects of grant, you know, blah, 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 yada, yada. Restore 7 HP to unit after combat. So, uh, I think for ranged foes, this is kind of like a one-sided wind sweep, null follow-up, some, like something along those lines. Because I think the weapon waived the condition. If foes range equal to 2, neutralize effects to prevent units counterattacks. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so he... Uh, they... I acknowledge backpacks. Uh, they are basically ranged tanks, which is probably pretty 
uh, heavily indicated from all of the uh, emphasis on res and also the ranged counterattack uh, nullification and all that. So, kind of cool, honestly. Uh, I I love I love a good ranged tank, which is not something that we see uh, uber dedicated to. Especially can reduce uh, effects of AOE specials, yeah. So, you know, clearly very heavily indicated that we are a ranged tank here. Um, Have honestly, a evening. this bear is kind of awesome. <laughs> this bear is kind of awesome. And our duo skill, just to top it all off, because why the heck not? Also, have we acknowledged how both Bylas are existing? Have we... Have we talked about that? Are we are we like cracking open the wormhole on some? You know what I mean? It's a little confusing. I'm gonna keep it the book. Uh, dual skill grants defense rest plus six, reduces damage from AOE specials by eighty percent. And hexblade, it's a unit and allies within two spaces of either for one turn, grants the following effects to unit for one turn, neutralizes effects against armored bonuses. That's pretty big, honestly. Dude, hexblade to unit and drive. That's crazy. That's kind of crazy, dude. Oh. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. No, I, I see the favoritism. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, we're just excluding the, the only other character on the board. We're just excluding her. Okay. Okay. This is slander. Is. Okay. And I know the reason Ray is not on this banner is because you're gonna drop her in the New Year's. I'm not getting baited. I'm not getting baited. You can't touch me, Is. I'm untouchable. Okay. Anyway, the banner looks great. <laughs> the banner looks great. Uh, it, I mean, it's got a lot of populars on there. I know Yunaka is huge uh, for a lot of people. So her, her being the only de facto uh you know rep from engage on here is, is pretty huge um i'm not really sure why they're you know drip marketing engage but hey that is what it is uh i like this i like this pair a lot i like it a lot i'm a big fan i'm a big fan uh that's where i'm gonna end it though i've given you all the insight that i can the banner's just good dude the banner's good all them number nerds they're gonna come out with like tier lists and uh, calculations and tell you what what is and what is not good. Summon what you want, bro. And a lot of you guys are gonna want this more than likely. So, so you know, live a little, summon a bit. Uh, who knows? Dragon New Year can't be that bad, right? <laughs> right? Can't be that bad. Surely not. It's, oh god. Dude. Oh, right. It's definitely showing up on New Year. Anywho, I'm going to skedaddle. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about the banner in the comments, and I will see you in the next one.